One question a lot of you may have is, who am I, right? Well, I'm not going to be, like, metaphorical. I'm not going to try to dance around in literacy to make some complicated, politically acceptable answer that you would give if, if you were giving a speech or something, you know, something thought out. I am a fallen angel. I am a, I don't know, one of God's... Uh, children or soldiers or associates interstellar beings whatever you would call them that fell from the sky at age two i was unharmed pretty much i mean physically i was not really alive but believe it or not i was brought back to life using simple technology and i just figured out everything I'm looking for my angels that will bring me back to heaven. I'm looking for my family that I left originally. And I'm here to answer any questions you guys have. All right? Open book policy. I don't know why or what the fuck a devil is, but that ain't me. I mean, I guess technically, but, you know, not like I'm a monster with fucking red eyes and bullshit, no. And I feel like this honesty and this, uh, this moment of uh, transparency can lead people to accept who I am and what I am. And I've only very recently been given the ability to disclose and uh, film, so stay tuned for some uh, pretty interesting stuff, right? Things are possible that no one would have ever thought, fantasy and fiction and science fiction, all that stuff, is it's closer than you think. <laughs> You'd be surprised what lurks under the surface and what actually is possible when this country can unify under a proper leader, under those who fight for the ability to always be right. And yes, I am in love. And it's like, it has to be true, because, like, you know, so if you're an angel, and I'm an angel, then we shall be angels, plural. We're gonna just fucking... <laughs> I'm not even gonna say some of that stupid shit on camera I'm about to think of. <sighs> but yeah, short and sweet. Ask me any questions you want. 100% the truth. Hmm. I'm not a magic liar. I'm a uh, observational truth teller. I'm a scientist. I'm a doctor. And chances are, if you're alive right now, you're alive because in my head, I thought of a way to save your life at one point. I've lived many lives. Some of which I remember. Some of which stay buried. I know many people, and one thing I could say is that I'm scarcely ever wrong. This planet will not move until the proper leadership is appointed. There are some that would stand in the way of our progress. And those are simply boulders to be paved. I am going to be speaking on politics. I'm going to be speaking on science, on religion, and on social media. Yes. Hmm, I love social media. Shit, it's all I do. Every song in the media, or just about uh, most of them, Tupac especially, were written to pretty much... <laughs> Talk about my battle through hell. 
what I had to do and what I went through to gain the abilities that I have, what it took to learn and how exactly I can, how we can benefit each other. A parasite sucks from a host, gives nothing back. Symbiosis is a must. And, well, I can't think of anything else to say. Not really a right or wrong way to start this video. Yes, I am an interstellar being. The inside of my body is uh, actually compounded dark matter. And uh, weird, weird things happen sometimes in my life. <laughs> like figuring out who the fuck I was. Ugh. You know, a year ago I thought I was nobody. I was depressed. I was just a sad, lonely motherfucker with a weird family that abandoned him. Never was there. Come to find out that they were <laughs> always there in one way, shape, or form. And that I've got more family to meet. And contrary to popular belief, I did not fall because I challenged God. I don't know. I, uh, I don't think so. I mean, I'm just gaining some of my memories. I see images sometimes, flickers, memories come back. Figured out that this whole time, I was a pariah. 